Dr. Hayek. In this video, I'm going to go over the question four from the 2016 AP Chemistry exam, the free response part. Now the question says, phenol is a weak acid that partially dissociates in water according to the equation above. So we have phenol plus water gives the phenolate plus hydronium, H3O+. Now the Ka of this equilibrium is given as 1.12 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10. The first question is, what is the pH of a 0 0.75 molar a phenol solution? Now, in order to find the pH, we will need to find the concentration of H3O plus that will form at equilibrium. So, first, let's write the expression of Ka. Ka equals to the concentration of the product divided by concentration of the reactant. So, concentration of phenolate multiplied by the concentration of hydronium divided by concentration of phenol. Now we exclude water in here just because water is at the liquid state. So now I can write the equation again and I will be drawing the ice table. So the ice table stands for initial change and equilibrium. Initially I have 0 0.75 molar of phenol and 0 molar of phenolate and hydronium. Now. Uh, after x molar of phenol uh, reacts or dissociates in water. Now I will form x molar of phenolate and x molar of hydronium. Now at equilibrium I will have 0 0.75 minus x molar for uh, phenol and I will have x molar for phenolate and x molar for hydronium. So now these are the equilibrium concentrations, so I can substitute them in the expression of Ka, and I can also use the value of Ka. So I will end up having 1.12 times 10 to the power minus 10 equals to x squared, that's going to result from the multiplication of x times x of the concentrations of phenolate and hydronium, divided by the equilibrium concentration of phenol, which is 0 0.75 minus x. Now in here, I can just, using calculator, I can solve for x. I find x equals to 9.2 times 10 to the power minus 6 molar. Now this x is equal to the concentration of the hydronium. So I can say now, pH, which is equal to minus log of H plus, equals minus log base of 10, of 9.2 times 10 to the power minus 6 and the pH will be equal to 5.04. Let's move on to the next part. The question says, for a certain reaction involving phenol to proceed at a significant rate, the phenol must be primarily in its deprotonated form, which is the phenolate. In order to ensure that the phenol is deprotonated, the reaction must be conducted in a buffered solution. On the number scale below, circle each pH for which more than 50% of the phenol molecules are in the deprotonated form. Justify your answer. Now, we have a scale that's given from 1 to 14, and this looks like a pH scale. Now, in order to answer this question, we will need to take a look first at the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation that says pH equals pKa plus log of the conjugate base or concentration of the conjugate base divided by the concentration of the acid. Now, when pH is greater than pKa, this means that the concentration of the conjugate base is higher than that of the acid, or we can say that the deprotonated form will predominate. Now we can calculate the value of pKa from the Ka. So pKa equals minus log base of 10 of Ka, so it's equal to minus log of 1.12 times 10 to the power minus 10, which is equal to 9.95. Therefore, at pH 10, 
and above, which is higher than the pKa, the concentration of phenolate, which is the deprotonated form, will be greater than that of phenol. So numbers 10 through 14 should be circled on the scale. I hope this video is helpful to you, so please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.